Hey, what's up guys? Brad with Squared Away Every Day, and today we're going to be talking about why the Tesla Model Y is the best Tesla that Tesla manufactures as of April 2022. Now, if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and let's hop into it. All right, so if you're new to the channel and you know nothing about this channel or me, I have owned a Model 3 Performance, a Model S Plaid, a Model Y Performance, and I do have a Model X Plaid on the way. So I kind of know what I'm talking about in terms of, is it the best vehicle? And yes, it is the best vehicle. Let me explain why. Now, out of all three vehicles I've owned to this point, the Model Y has been the most sound. The quality of it has been the best out of all three vehicles that I've owned to this point. Now, many people, when they first get their Teslas, they do, you know, this like overextensive check on the vehicle. And I understand that because there is odd stuff with the Tesla. So definitely do check your Tesla out. But I think people take it to a little bit of an extreme level at this point in terms of their pre-delivery check. Uh, but I will say this. This particular vehicle, when I picked it up and I did my pre-delivery check, which was not anything crazy, but I did check it, there was no significant panel gaps. There was no paint issues. There was no dents in the bumpers. There was no upholstery that wasn't fully seated. There was no problems with the motors on the windows or the sensors or any of that. The Tesla was just ready to be picked up, ready to be driven, and I haven't had to take it into Tesla since I bought it, which was about seven months ago at this point. So. To this point, the Model Y has been the best build quality out of the sample size of three Teslas that I have. Again, the Model S Plaid, the Model 3 Performance, and the Model Y Performance. And so to this point, I don't have anything weird going on with it that I would need to take it in. I don't even have any weird little creaks or noises that it makes when I drive it around like my Plaid does and like my Model 3 had. And so to this point, I would say confidently that the Model Ys are the best quality vehicle that are, be turning, that are being turned out of the Model... Uh, geez, this is getting crazy. All right, now I can't just say that the Model Y is the best Tesla being made simply because of the build quality. It can't just be that alone. So what is it? Well, it's simply the value that you get for this particular vehicle. And I get people that come into the comment section all the time and say, value, that's an expensive vehicle. I didn't say, I did not say the vehicle was cheap. The vehicle is an expensive vehicle. It is more along the luxury side of vehicles, but it is the best value that is being made in the Tesla lineup. And when you talk about the cargo space you get in the rear and in the front, you, you talk about the cabin space, the ability to put a roof rack on this thing, the ability to have a tow hitch on this thing, and they're quick, especially if you get the Model Y Performance. That is the best valued EV on the market. Go ahead and check out my video. Go ahead and check out my other video too, which is the Model Y review. Um, but in a nutshell, you can't get better value than the Model Y in their lineup. That coupled with the fact that it is the best build out of all the Teslas being made. How are you going to argue with that? It's the best Tesla being made as of April 2022, and I stand by that. Now, somebody's going to say in the comment section, what about the Model X Plaid? The Model X Plaid, you could buy over two of you for you could buy two of these and still have a cheaper cost than the Model X Plaid. Yes, it's going to be faster. Yes, is going to have the Falcon wing doors and the air suspension and some fancy little stuff like that. Is it really worth the money though? No, it's certainly not. And why? Well, because you still get the crazy safety out of the Model Y. You still get autopilot. You still get the charging network. You still get the uh, trip planner. You still get all the main stuff, the meat of what you need in a Tesla, but it's less than half the price of the Model X. Now, people ask me all the time, Brad, which one should I get? If you're in the market, buy the Model Y. And if you really don't care about spending a few extra thousand dollars, buy the Model Y Performance because it is the best valued EV on the market, maybe even the best valued car on the market, hands down for what you get. You get a car that's going zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, and it's safer than a Volvo. How can you get better value than that? You cannot. If you like this kind of content, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and we'll see you in the next one.